Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the previous videos, we have seen electricity bill problem, time, distance and currency converter, phase slip generation, stack ADT using interface and string operations using ArrayList. In today's video, we will talk about abstract class. Before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel to get more updates. Let's get into the video. So the problem statement here is that let a Java program to create abstract class named shape. So the abstract class name should be shape, which contains uh, two integers and an empty method. The method name is print area. And we need to create three classes. One is rectangle, triangle, circle, such that each one of the class extends the shape, which means that we are going to extend this abstract class. So each one of the class contains only the method print area that prints the area of given shape like area of rectangle triangle and circle that's it so points to understand so these are all the points we need to be clear uh, with these points that is abstract class versus concrete class concrete class in the sense normal class abstract class is a class where um, we can't create an object directly we need to inherit it to into a class then we can and the classes should be abstract and uh, whatever the methods um, are there in abstract class it should be overridden so these are the few rules about abstract class and abstract class versus uh, interface uh, you can inherit only one abstract class at a time but if it is interface you can you know in inherit uh, uh, multiple interfaces you can use implements keyword where uh, in abstract we'll be using extends keyword and uh <coughs> So we'll go through the differences um, in the upcoming videos uh, and uh, abstract methods and uh, what is hash code which displays the class name at basically which uh, displays the you know the object location. So we are going to create a object in the program which means that it is going to allocate some memory. So the address of that memory allocated thing will be displayed in the hash code format. Fine. Um, so now let's dive into uh, NetBeans for the practical implementation. So in my project I have got, uh, this is exercise number 6 and you see this, uh, I have got an abstract class, first I'm going to explain that. So in this abstract class I have used keyword abstract, my package is uh, package exercise number 6, class name is shape and I have uh, created two variables and uh, as, as the said in the problem statement I have created one method that is print area which is abstract okay so and uh, I have got a class uh, that is we need to create three classes one is a rectangle which should extend the abstract class and I have got a triangle it's which extends the shape and I have got circle which extends the shape again so these three classes uh, this is a simple program uh, over here I'm just going to ask input from the user so I have used import java.util. Um, star which means that I'm gonna use a scanner fine and uh, within this uh, method I'm just going to display I'm going to calculate a uh, area of rectangle and I'm gonna ask user uh, to enter length breadth and um, as these variables got already declared over there in the abstract class and uh, we, we, we because of inheritance you know we can access those members and um, that is a formula like a into b and i'm going to display this simple and in triangle which extends shape and again i'm going to use the same method name we need to use the same method name and we need to override it uh, if not then it is going to show some error so um, um, there is uh, again i'm printing it and I'm, I'm asking user to enter height and breadth so I'm applying some formula and um, that is half into A into B and displaying it in circle again overriding the method and uh, I'm just asking user to enter the radius and the formula was plugged in like 3.14 into A into A and printing it fine so and I have got a main class uh, and the main method over here you see this uh, this you need to understand that you know um, so this is a reference and this is this shape is abstract class okay so using the abstract class I have created the reference and using the reference I'm gonna create 
object for each classes that is for rectangle triangle and circle you see this and for this object I mean sorry um, using the reference I have called the method fine so now let's check this output mm. I'm gonna run this yeah so it is asking for length I'm gonna give five breadth six so it, it displayed area of rectangle and for the next thing it is uh, for triangle it is asking for height and breadth area of triangle is displayed and uh, calculating area of circle uh, I'm gonna give a radius as 44 it is going to display this okay now what if um, so now what is the advantage of this you see this uh, if a user tries to implement his own methods for example in this class uh, you see there's uh, there is a class uh, called circle and which extends shape fine and there is a method which overrides the basic method over here right and I have created my own method like my own implementation and I just want to print it let's see this see it, it is not going to allow and it is going to throw some error because it is saying that cannot find the symbol right and that create method disp in ex6 dot shape which means that it is asking me to create a method in the abstract class so you can't implement your own method because the reference given over here is shape So which means that it is restricting the user to implement only the methods which is defined in this uh, abstract class. Fine. So what if I try to, okay, let's, um, I'm going to command this and I'm going to command this. So if I try to uh, give two methods over here, there is one more abstract method. Uh, you see this, the implementation has implementation is showing and this is also has implementation and I'm trying to you know uh, if, I, if, if I try to run this let's see what happens mm, it is not going to run you will be getting some error that is I'm gonna click run anyway and the exception is that uh, yeah abstract class main and uh, abstract does not override abstract method display so this is what you are going to get fine so hope you understood um, you know uh, how to use abstract methods so the viva questions for exercise number five goes like this so these are the questions i have given in exercise number five you just pause the video and go through these answers and uh, i've given answers for all these things Yeah, and these are the drawbacks and solution for all these things. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the questions for uh, access number six. So these are the questions for access number six. Um, what is hash code and all? I think uh, I have not shown uh, how this hash code is getting created. Let's display that also. Mm. I'm, I'm going to display the hash code now. So I'm going to run this program again. Uh, let's run this. So area of the length, breadth, and you see this, the hash code is created in this way. And, uh, and because we have, we are creating three different objects. So we'll be getting three different codes for each object. So for each object has a unique address, right? So that is what we are getting this hash code. Fine, hope you understood this. So hope you like this video. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Do share with your friends and uh, download the code from the GitHub link and try this one and let me know in the comment section if you have got any queries. 
and uh, if there is any requirements do please let me know in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching the video